Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and I'm here today to tell you how the Nintendo Switch might have, or almost assuredly has, at least at the time of recording this video, sold 100 million units worldwide. And if it hasn't, it certainly will, well, before we get to January 1st. So yeah, here in 2021, 100 million units. Now, Nintendo has not made any official announcement. In fact, I don't expect Nintendo to make any announcement about this at all until either their next financial meeting or at some point in January. And I will explain why Nintendo won't announce it as soon as humanly possible, like we're sort of talking about in this video, because it's possible it already has it now. I got the data. It's right here. I got a giant list of it. We're going to go over it. Before I get into the data, I want to talk to you guys about our current giveaway. We have a giveaway going on right now for three copies of Pokemon Legends Arceus. To enter, head down to the pinned comment or the description uh, and click on that viral sweep link. And I wish everybody luck in that. Also, we're on our road to 80,000 subscribers, so please subscribe. You know, drop a like, hit a comment, help spread this video around, and let's get into the data. As of September 30th, 2021, Nintendo did give us official sales figures for the Nintendo Switch. Those sales figures are 92.87 million units. This was at their last financial meeting, talking about the end of the second quarter of their fiscal year, which runs from March through, well, March. So it ends in March of 2022. Um, since then, we do have cumulative data from sales in Japan. Now, technically, these sales numbers are about to be updated tomorrow as we're about to get another week's worth of data in. And Nintendo Switch has been averaging around 200,000 units worth of sales in the month of December each week. And it's notable that we haven't even hit the high sales period in Japan, which is actually this week and next week. It's kind of like their Black Friday period where they traditionally sell 300,000 plus Switch units. But right now at least as of the recording of this video since september 30th then they have sold 901,877 units now technically that number is a little off we'll get into this at the end because these numbers are actually just the numbers from november and december now these are numbers in japan and japan only and if we add that to the current switch total it's roughly going to be around 94 million and you might go when you add the math in your head that doesn't equal that i'm sort of counting in an extra couple hundred thousand sales or really an extra hundred thousand sales because we get sales data tomorrow that's probably going to be 200 000. so i'm not going to just assume it's going to be 200 but i guarantee it'll be at least 100 000 based on recent weeks so we're just going to say a cool million and we're going to put that at 94 million there beyond all that nintendo switch sold 711,000 units in the united states in october so we add that in with the known figure as well from November, where Nintendo officially announced 1.13 million units. And that gives us a grand total of 95.841 million units sold. Beyond all that, Nintendo of Europe announced that uh, the Switch actually broke sales records in Europe for the whole of Europe in November of this year and the previous record for switch was November of 2017 where rough data has it around 900,000 units for the whole of Europe So let's just be super super cautious here and say okay. It sold a million units in Europe last month All right, that actually moves it to 96.841 million units All right now we have to account for other territories as well This includes Canada because Canada is actually not part of the MPD numbers This actually includes things like Asia and and China, Brazil, and Australia, and a whole bunch of other countries that are selling Nintendo Switches that aren't considered part of the EU numbers, aren't considered part of the MPD, and are not considered part of Japan. Now, we don't actually have exact figures for these territories because Nintendo doesn't give them. You can sort of extrapolate in their... Um, the, the, the rest of the world sales, you can extrapolate from their normal quarterly updates. But since we don't get updates on those sales outside of quarterly, I'm just looking at prior trends. And last quarter, they moved about 700,000 units worldwide. Uh, and this quarter should be higher because it's a holiday period. However, I'm actually going to lowball that prior figure 
for a reason and you'll see and i'm just going to say it moved 500,000 in the rest of the world uh, in the month of october and november so that actually is going to get us right up to 97.341 million units now our good friend paul gale from the paul gale network um, actually has an inside source at nintendo's sales department that has proven correct in the past with metroid dread sales and other sales as well um, and he informed me that at least through december 19th of this month nintendo has sold through more than 2 million units you know in this month now this is worldwide sales um so this is how many they sold not shipped they usually ship more than they sell so let's say that's about another 1.5 million added to the total and you might go why not add 2 million well if you remember we actually already added in the sales from japan for this month so we got to subtract the sales of japan from that number and it gives us about 1.5 million now he said north of 2 million we obviously don't know how far north of 2 million that is however let's just be safe again we're being super cautious here we're really undercutting what the real figures likely are and going with 1.5 million that actually brings our grand total now up to 98.841 million now we do not have sales actually for Europe for the month of October. There's no data really floating out there. A couple sparing, you know, like 10,000 here, 10,000 there, but we don't really have the full numbers for Europe for October because Nintendo didn't give us anything to really go off of. Um, so I'm going to kind of just grab some numbers from the last October that I could find online, which was around 200,000 units in 2018. Remember, this is pre pandemic. Obviously, during the pandemic, it's been selling out everywhere, including Europe. So chances are it's actually higher than 200,000, but again, we're being super cautious in putting these numbers together. Um, that actually brings our grand total to 99.041 million literally today. Japan's current sales pace also, by the way, assures that we're likely gonna get at least 400,000 more units the rest of this year, if not more. As I said, Switch usually moves around 300,000 during its big peak sales period every single year. And there's no reason to believe it's going to be anything less than the numbers they did last holiday unless nintendo can't produce enough units so if we count in that at least through the end of this fiscal year just counting japanese sales and not counting in anything else that brings us to 99.441 million units before the calendar turns to january 1st that's wow 2022 right there however note some things that are not counted in this data any sales that happened for switch europe us and the rest of the world after december 19th now we're only a few days into it so obviously we're not going to have good numbers on that uh, and we won't uh, you know for a little while here but again any sales happening in that period are not being counted or projected so it only have to be 600,000. But there's another note in there as well you might have noticed something earlier in those sales figures i did not count sales for october from japan if we include October's sales numbers, which equal around 400,000 for that month, that actually puts us at 99.841 million units. Now you're gonna tell me this week alone, Nintendo's not gonna sell 100,000 Switch units just in Japan. Folks, as of this week, as of Christmas of 2021, Nintendo Switch will have sold 100 million units now nintendo might not say anything nintendo is going to take a while to fully compile the official numbers before they make any sort of announcement like this and obviously their next financial briefing which covers the entire world sales for the sales period will give us bigger numbers than that i'm guessing it's probably closer to 101 to 102 million units at the end of the current quarter still nintendo has crushed it they have actually pulled this off in roughly 57 months this is significantly faster than any other home console in nintendo's history in fact they only really have one other home console that sold over 100 million and that was the wii and that didn't move over 100 million until 2013 yeah that's a year after the wii u already came out that's how long it took the wii to get there uh now it technically didn't get there faster than the nintendo ds so credit to the nintendo ds for just absolutely crushing it but ds sales did start to really trickle off at this point uh and yeah the switch sales are actually going stronger than ever now i did all these number crunching myself as did paul gale on his side as well and there's going to be different figures on how close nintendo is to 100 million at this exact date um, depending on what sort of estimates you want to do and if you notice i repeatedly said while going through my figures i'm undercutting on purpose 
some estimations that are less than prior years when Nintendo was selling less switches. So I literally know I was undercutting numbers intentionally because if we actually have the real figures, oh my gosh, a hundred million might have been crossed last week, let alone today. So this is all really interesting information and I thought you guys might want to note this because this is obviously Nintendo's fastest, you know, quote unquote home console. I know some of you guys don't consider it that, but Nintendo still labels it as a home console. So it is their fastest home console to 100 million units sold. It's actually one of the fastest home consoles of all time to 100 million units sold. And this fiscal year is not even over yet. It could easily creep to 108 to 110 million before the end of this fiscal year, which again is March of 2022. Again, we have a new Pokemon game to increase sales again coming out in January. And who knows how Nintendo's lineup is going to line up for the rest of next year. Probably a major game landing in March as well. So yeah, Nintendo is actually set up really well. And this is a milestone moment. Look, the total number of sales of any game or any particular system doesn't matter to gamers on the individual level. We aren't the ones making hand over fist money, putting billions of dollars in the bank. We're the ones spending the money. I'm the one rocking not one, not two, not three, I think five switches in my house. Yeah, like I am crazy. So I understand that you know, for me, it's costing me money. It's not making me money. But at the same point, at the same point, this is kind of like, say, Aaron Rodgers, who just tied Brett Favre's touchdown record in Green Bay last weekend. Does that record matter to me individually as a human being? No, that's a milestone for him, not me. But I could still celebrate the accomplishment because I got to witness all 442 touchdown passes. I got to go through the highs and the lows. And that's kind of the same here with Nintendo. I've gone through the highs and the lows. Wii and DS era, highest Nintendo's ever been. Wii U and 3DS era, the lowest Nintendo's ever been since getting into the video game market. Now, Virtual Boy notwithstanding, of course, but the Wii U was Nintendo's worst selling home console. The 3DS, you might not know this, it's the worst selling handheld console. Literally, we just came off the worst generation in Nintendo history. So extreme highs, extreme lows, and here we are extremely high again. To me, this is something worth celebrating. So congratulations to Nintendo for obviously this a massive accomplishment, which we always do is coming. Obviously, the next thing is like, what's the exact time or date, maybe before the end of this holiday, uh, where Nintendo actually passes the Wii. It won't take that much. I would not be shocked if their next financial report has them ahead of the Wii. And will Nintendo actually announce that they've crossed 100 million units before we get to that financial meeting? I don't know. What I do know is, I'm really excited for the future of Switch. And I know you could argue we're getting into the later years. Maybe we only have one year, two, three years of Switch left. I don't know. But what I do know is 2022 is looking like a banger year. You're seeing a number of videos come out from content creators all across YouTube and TikTok and other platforms exalting how amazing the Switch is going to end up being in 2022. And for once, we don't have to sit there and guess that it's going to be. Confirmed games for 2022 alone has it been literally the best year of Switch since 2017, if not better than 2017, if everything hits. Like Splatoon 3, Breath of the Wild 2, that's already a huge year for Switch. Oh, by the way, open world Kirby, or at least a semi-open world Kirby, a semi-open world, obviously zone-wise in terms of Pokemon in Pokemon Legends Arceus, another Mario plus Rabbids game, likely something Fire Emblem. I have no idea, but that's obviously something floating out there. We have Sonoma Project Triangle Strategy and so many more. Bayonetta 3 is supposed to be next year. So there are so many big things supposed to land next year that we already know that it's easy to say we are right now just entering what I think is going to be the peak year of Nintendo Switch. And that's happening after Switch has been on the market for five years as of March 3rd, and we'll be celebrating its sixth year. So that entire sixth year of Switch could be the peak year. Isn't that crazy to think? That almost feels like the Switch is just getting started. Will the Switch pass PlayStation 2 to become the best-selling home console of all time, the best-selling system of all time? Time will tell on that. Probably needs another three years of sales to do it. 
And will Nintendo extend the sales of the Switch with a upgraded Switch model at some point, but keep it in the same Switch family and count all the sales together? Or will they just move on to the next generation in 2023 or 2024? I don't have the answers to any of this. But what I do know is, as of right now, Switch might already be at 100 million. If not, by the end of this week. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? All right, folks, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.